Okay, what is this a different pathway? Yes. Okay. So uh -oh. when's you figure the shipment's gonna start coming in again, Mo? I don't know, Vince. Looks like the blackout ain't going away. Don't look like it. So how are we gonna push our goods when there ain't no ships around? <laughs> Beats me, Vince. If I knew I wouldn't be standing here freezing, staring at your mug all day. <laughs> hey, Mo, look at that. Hey, nice pajamas, kid. <laughs> Looks like this fella's on vacation from the slammer. Don't you reckon, Mo? <laughs> sure does, Vince. Hey, kid, maybe you should slip into some new clothes, huh? That's I don't goal. figure you're gonna last long in them stripes. <laughs> yeah, that's my problem. You guys don't happen to have some clothes I could borrow. Kid, you've come to the right place. Really? It just so happens that I, Honest Mo, and my associate here, Trusty Vince, uh... have a whole crate of clothes we'd love for you to purchase. Finest stuff, prime or manned in leather. <laughs> yeah, real leather, fancy pricey goods. 500 uh... bucks and the crate is yours. A whole crate of clothes? We deal in bulk, all right? It's a steal, kid. Yeah, 500 bucks, you get the whole crate. Eh, uh, I don't have any money. Maybe I could just borrow them. <laughs> huh? Listen, kid, we've got our own troubles, all right? This whole business with the lighthouse is killing us. We need some dough so we can get off the street. We're freezing our kneecaps off out here. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Nachos. Hey, it's a crate full of Patitos XXL. My favorite nacho brand. Can I have some? These things are banned. We can't push them. Go ahead and grab a bag, kid. We're sick of them. Haven't eaten anything else for a week. Oh, wow, that sounds disgusting. Oh, Nachos boy. for a week straight. Ooh. Bombs from Kingsport Bay. They turned keto from slim to chubby in just one summer. Great. What's in the barrel? barrel? It's not just an empty barrel, kid. That's right, Mo. It's our empty barrel. We protect what's ours, okay? Okay. More uh, power to you guys. So Mo. how's business? It's a frozen dead beat, kid. Ain't no work, ain't no heat. Nothing we can do but stand here and freeze our fingers off. Aye. And wait for the shipments to start coming in again. Uh, what are you guys doing here? What you guys doing here? We work the docks, kid. When the shipments come in, we load, unload, bargain, swap, trade, fiddle, do the jimmy, run the books, and then wait for the next shipment to come in. It's been a dead beat the past week, though. Yeah, ain't no ships coming or going ever since the lighthouse stopped. Okay, about those clothes. About those clothes. Yeah? Can I borrow them? <laughs> I'll pay you once I get a hold of some money. Promise. Sorry, kid. No cash. No clothes. Kid, this ain't no charity. It's too cold to be giving clothes away. We might need them. Yeah, if we don't get some heat soon, I'll be wearing the whole damn crate. <sighs> All right, I get it. I'm going to have to start a fire for them. I'm looking for a lady who arrived in port this night. I'm looking for a lady who arrived in port this night. Ah, you one of the fellas who came in on the Pico, ain't ya? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I knew I'd seen that mug before. Man, you was fast getting busted, wasn't you? I'll say. What happened to the lady? That's what I'm trying to find out. Okay. Nice hats. Nice hats. They're not just hats, kid. They're union membership hats. Oh, really? We had to pay off all sorts of fellas to get these. <laughs> you guys have special union hats? You guys have special union hats? Sure. Show up at the Miss Front without one and you're going to go to bed on an empty stomach. It's a great big racket, and we're at the bottom of it. The fellas who run the union, the cops, and the mob. They're all making a mint while we're down here busting our noodles. Tell me how you really feel. You guys gotta fight the oppression. You guys gotta fight the oppression. Fire upon them exploiters. Hey, we'd squeal like a pair of stoolie rats on eel fumes if only there was someone to rat to. But there just ain't. I see, the coppers that is a are just as crooked as the union and the mob here in Port Archu. When they're all in bed with one another, there ain't much we little folk can do. Ain't it the truth, Mo? The powers that be gotta crumble and fall before we'll see any change down here, kid. I will keep that in mind. So who is calling the shots? So who's calling the shots? 
Oh, it's a bleeding mess, ain't it, Vince? It's all spaghetti, Mo. The union's run by the mob, and the mob's <laughs> fed by the people on top. Yeah, and the chief of police and the mayor want to pretend they're top brass. But there's no fooling us. We ain't no palookas. They're controlled by hotshots from topside, just like anyone else important here in Port Archu. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. Can I give them the matches? Sure looks like they could use some heat. But I doubt a matchbook is all that's needed. Uh... Man, that's not gonna work. <laughs> All right, can I maybe light the nachos on fire? Oh no, I can't put the them in the barrel. Is There's nothing there to burn. Hmm. Okay. Fill it with nachos. That's no good for making a fire. <laughs> Fill it with the can. That's no good for making a fire. <laughs> All right, let's go find some paper or something. Um. I didn't really see any hotspots that I could interact with that might contain paper. But I guess we'll go and look again. Ooh, hello. Lag. Hmm. Can I mess with the wire box? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> There's a couple of tick power cables in there. Um Break them. That wire is way too thick. I need something to cut it with. Oh dear. Can you use the can? That wire is way too no. thick. I need some. I guess the can isn't sharp enough or strong enough. Let's see. I guess let's try using the nachos to bring the pigeon over. Maybe the pigeon will help in some way. Throw the nachos at the pigeon. Probably want a nacho? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That was fast. A plunger. Oh, gross. It's an old plunger. I'll stick it in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like my Fallout character. <laughs> okay. Um, what do I do with a plunger now? Um. Okay. Let's try going to another location. Can we bang down her door with a pickaxe? We should do that. Oh, the newspaper rack. Let's get those. Today's headline is Extra! Lighthouse sabotage brings Port Archu to a standstill. If only there was some way I could break it open. Use the pickaxe. Nobody's here. Just do it. Okay, get them out. Excellent, now we can start a fire for those guys, even though the newspaper's gonna burn really fast. They'll have a very, very short fire. All right, let's see. Go back here again. Let's fill their empty barrel with newspapers. Hey, find your own trash can. <laughs> yeah, this one's our favorite. You gotta respect that. I am respecting that. I'm making you a fire. Let's fire this up. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Making you a fire. Hey, that ain't so dumb. <laughs> oh, gosh, that feels good. I can feel my fingers again. Ah, nice going, kid. You're welcome. No problem. Can I have clothes now? Hey, Mo, how come we never thought of that? Can I have clothes now? How's it going, fellas? Doing great now with the fire. Thanks, kid. Can I have clothes? About those clothes. Yeah? Please, can I borrow some clothes? What do you say, Mo? The guy helped us with the fire. Sure, kid. We owe you one. Aw, oh, thank you. See that big pile of crates? It's in there somewhere. A small wooden one. Okay.
That was fast. Well, would you look at that? Looking sharp, kid. Looks like you're ready for the town. Thanks, fellas. Forget yeah. about it. We people getting in trouble with the law? We gotta stick together, you hear? <laughs> I'll say. Alright, looks like we got ourselves a nice outfit. Let's go and see if we can go in the bar now. Or maybe can I... Oop. Can I go in here? Yeah, we can go in here now. Hello. Hey, funky place. Can I come inside? You, inside Club Timber. I don't think so, kid. Uh, what's so special about Club Timba? What's so special about Club Timba? Club Timba is the classiest night spot in the whole city. We've got all of Port Arthur's stars, champagne, and gold hold up in here. And if you really? think I'm letting your raggedy ass inside, you're thicker than you look. Man, why is there always somebody that will let me in? Can I use your telephone, please? Can I use your telephone, please? Get your own damn phone. This one is for Club Timber Management only. Okay. Nice lights you got there. Nice lights you got here. Keep your hands off the floodlights, kid, or I'm gonna break your fingers off. <laughs> Whoa, this guy means business. Let me in. Let me in. You know, you street urchin got a lot of attitude for more than you're worth. And it's that kind of crap that gets your teeth knocked out. Man, now this guy's intense. Because I'm only gonna say this once. We don't serve low lives like you in here. Not so nice. Why don't you just get to stepping and save yourself any further embarrassment? Bah, this place is too fancy for me, anyways. <sighs> hey, I have a pickaxe, man. Don't make me mad. Uh, what happens? He said he would only say it once. What happens if I ask again? Let me in. You know, you straight urchin got, and it's that. Now listen carefully. Oh, oh no, nope. no. He lied. So he lied. Say He'll say it bah. again. Bye bye. Alright, I assume we need to turn off the lights in order to get in there. Let's go and see about the bar. He still doesn't want to go in the freeway. Sure the oh, okay. Over that way. I'm not going any closer. Alrighty. Um, go this way. Let's try heading into the bar. That's Hello. just nonsense. Oh, it's them. I don't drink to escape my problems. I escape my problems to go drinking. <laughs> okay. Gimbo. Hi, Captain. Whatever you say. <laughs> What's up, sailors? Hey, good to see you again. Hi. We thought Barlow had you locked up for good, Juana. Ha! But you just, were out cold the whole time. This is way too clever for Babylon oppressors. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Feels good having solid ground under one's feet again. I can tell you that. Amen to that, mate. Oh, the mist scares the life out of me. Yeah, well, I ah, gather that. I've seen jellyfish with more backbone than you lot. You were out cold the whole time. You have no room to speak. I'm looking for Lena. Have you seen her? I'm looking for Lena. Have you seen her? She your special lady? Not really. Well, Buona, I had to break it to you, man. But it seems like she and Police Chief Balo have got something special going You're on. You're kidding. What you talking about? I saw them both strolling to that big posh place on Main Street. Club Timber. Oh, that's she why we need to get in there. Like she was hot struck, walking on sunshine. <laughs> Sounds to me like you've been played for a fool, son. But are you fellas talking about that tall, good-looking lady from out of town who's just strolling down Main Street? Yeah. If you don't mind me saying so, she's out of your league, sir. <laughs> Besides, if she's clinging to Barlow, you're better off without her. That's the truth. You try and take something away from Barlow, Barlow takes take something away from you in a very bad way. I'm not afraid of no police. Good. I could shake them off once. I can shake them off again. I got to get into Club Demba. All right. Sounds like... Waffle Iron is itching for a fight. Uh, what do you guys know about Club Timba? What do you guys know about Club Timba? You really want to get in there, huh? Yep. Well, you're going to have a hard time. You need to be filthy rich and well connected to get access to that joint. It's not for the people. That place is full of corrupt fat cats and untouchable high society. 
Mm. I'm pretty sure you can forget getting in there, Juana. Hey, I managed to get on the yacht before. He's down with a decent folk. Okay. Tell me more about Police Chief Barlow. Tell me more about Police Chief Barlow. He's been in charge around here for what? About 20 years or so. Can't say I've got anything personal against him. But like all people with power, he tends to misuse it. I'll say. He likes to crack down real hard on people he doesn't agree with. And he's certainly up to a whole lot more than just police in the city. Yes. I'm willing to bet he's tangled up in all sorts of shady doings. Police Chief Barlow is just as corrupt as the rest of the cream of the crop. I see. Okay. <laughs> Not a single honest man holds a seat of power in this godforsaken town. Lovely place. The weight of the burden always lies on us, misters. Nice joint, this. Nice joint, this. You kidding me? This place is the cesspool at the end of the sewer. You know, the bartender is right there. Along the gutters of these streets drip and drizzle in our own directions. But in the end, like the soggy pieces of street trash that we are, we end up here. This guy is very poetic, Wet, isn't he? Cold, torn apart, and stepped upon, face down in the mud. Man, that was beautiful. You should have that <laughs> engraved and put on the wall. <laughs> Tell me about misters. Tell me about misters. I like this bartender. We're the little folks. We're the ones who actually do the real work around here. We're just simple folk caught in the crossfire. We come here to get oh, no. and drink ourselves piss drunk before we head out. Come back, and then do it all over again. Misters are the kind of people that wind up in a dump like this. People with money don't come here. People with connections. This don't guy come talks here. a lot. We're small people. You said that like the five big times. Shots in town, we're worth less than the blood-stained dirt under their boots. Bunch of corrupt hoodlums. That's what they are. Oh my god, tell me how you really feel. So when are you guys heading back out? So when you guys heading back out? Well, we can't right now. Or we probably would. As long as the lighthouse is bust, we are stuck in port. And frankly, okay. I'm not really in a hurry to get back out there. Sure, we gotta make a living. But a short break is well deserved. Ain't it, Gimbo? It sure is. <laughs> that lighthouse can stay broken for all I care. Oh, stone the crows, mate. I'm starting to get fed up to the back teeth of catching eel. Uh, what happens to the eel? What happens to the eel? Most of it's sold off to upbound ships. Some stays down here for refining. You can make all sorts of stuff out of eel. Steaks, liquor, plastics, medicines. Really? They're pretty strange creatures, come to think of it. Yeah, you guys ever go to St. Armando? You guys ever go to St. Armando? Ah, no way. We haven't got the right permits. And even I if we did, some the Beko can't handle the up there. It runs too deep. Well, I'd love to go someday, though. Get out of this bloody soup once and for all. You should come visit. What are the locks? What are the locks? Aye, the locks at Pango Kubwa. That lead up to St. Armando. You got special ships going through there. Eel trawlers can't go through them. They just aren't we're doomed to be stuck down here forever. Oh, that's Might as sad. well just deal with it, I guess. Aw, see you guys later. See you guys later. 